What's cracking? Day seven, fully raw vegan and loving it. And I'm going to show you what I'm having for dinner right here. It's a big, big, big dinner. And it's not fruit. That's right. It's not fruit. There's some fruit in it, but it's not a fruit. Well, you you decide. Let me know if, if this is a fruit-based dinner. It's kind of half and half now that I think about it. Uh, but before I show you dinner, uh, I want to just talk to you briefly about the benefits I found on raw. So far, over the past seven days, again, I've talked about this every single day for the past six days. Go check out my older videos, but clear mentally, ton of energy. It doesn't matter how hard I try, I can't seem to get more than seven hours of sleep. Like, it's all my body needs on raw. It's amazing. I'm used to getting eight, nine, ten hours of sleep on cooked food. Now I'm getting seven hours max. And uh, I got energy throughout the day on less sleep. Absolutely ridiculous. Again, you do the math on that. Over the course of a month, even if I'm saving an hour every night, that's 30 hours I'm saving in a month. 30 hours of, of life that I'm getting from raw food. So not only do you feel more life when you eat the food, but you literally have more life. You're awake a lot longer. You're not, you're not sleeping as much. It's ridiculous. I never, I never did the math on that before, but as an entrepreneur, it's very, very important to me. So that's a huge benefit. Uh, and digestion. Digestion's beautiful, flawless digestion. I've been doing fruit-based. I haven't been doing many veggies or any, any nuts and seeds. So as a result, my digestion is absolutely flawless. I'm having the smoothest poops, the smoothest eliminations, and everything is just gravy. Everything's fantastic. Everything's freaking perfect. Uh, before I show you dinner, though, speaking about entrepreneurship, if you are interested in creating your own profitable, like highly, highly, highly profitable vegan coaching program, if you want to help people transition to a raw food diet or help people transition to a vegan diet or help people lose weight, uh, I have another YouTube channel that will help you do just that. I'll post the link for it in the description of this video, and you can go check out the other YouTube video. So many helpful videos on there to help you get started with your own vegan coaching program. So with that out of the way, let's check out dinner. Got a big old bowl of mixed greens and some other goodies, which I'll share with you here. And this bowl is big. It's it's big. Like, it's it's bigger than my head. Way bigger. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take me about more than half hour to eat this probably. And on top for the sauce, I put this holy guacamole. This stuff is so freaking awesome. It's so good. I highly recommend it. And uh, inside here, I'll admit, this may, this isn't these aren't my favorite toppings. I just kind of threw together what I had, uh, but is what it is, and it'll be good. So on the bottom, I have a bed of, of mixed greens, organic mixed greens. And on top, I just threw some mushrooms on top. Since I'm not cooking them anymore, i got to eat them raw. And I also have some cauliflower rice. I would normally never eat cauliflower raw. It doesn't digest the best. I mean, look at it. It's like rocks. Like That cannot rub into your skin at all. I like to eat fruit that rubs into your skin. And that's like a rock. That's not really not going to digest well. If you want to see if something's going to give you gas or make you feel bloated or give you like a crampy stomach or stitches in the stomach or whatever, it's just it's this stuff. It's anything that sounds like this. Listen. You hear that? You hear that? That's hard. You can't rub that into the table at all. Now, banana, oh my God, banana or avocado, like, listen to this. Ready? Listen. You can't hear anything. It's silent. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. So, I would normally cook that, but since I'm not cooking, I'm just going to use it up here raw. Uh, celery, I got some celery in here. Celery is my, one of my favorite uh, raw veggies, maybe my only favorite raw veggie, next to greens. And then we got cucumbers and tomatoes, both of which are fruits, and avocados are fruits as well, which is why it's kind of like a fruit, it's like half and half fruit and veggie. Uh, tomatoes I love in salads, cucumbers I do not, I kind of regret putting them in here, I'm not a fan of cucumbers in my salads. I do like cucumbers, but I'd rather just eat them on their own. But in a salad, the reason I don't like them is because they're just so watery. When you bite into them, it just dilutes the the potency of the salad and it like dilutes the sauce that's on it. It's just, they're just not necessary. I don't think cucumbers need to be in salads. I'd rather have zucchini for sure. So I do regret putting the cucumber in there out of everything, but it's still gonna be good. I'm just gonna plop this in here like that and then uh, mix it in and that'll be my salad. That'll be my salad for the night. And I'll go out there on the dock, get some sunshine and enjoy myself. So that. If you are, again, super passionate about a vegan diet or a raw food diet and you want to turn this into your full-time income, you want to be a YouTuber or an Instagrammer and you want to start making some full-time income or even just some side income online, check out my other channel. It shows you how to do it step-by-step. Step. I just uploaded a brand new video today, which I do every day. 
And uh, in that video, I walk you through everything you need to get started with your own vegan coaching business. I, I break it down step by step. I'm like, first you need your niche, then you need the customer avatar, etc., etc., etc. I break it down step by step. So really helpful video. Go check it out. And uh, that's it for now. Peace out. Much love. Have a great day. Bye.